Right, everybody. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8, sporting in black with the black wheels, and also has some carbon fiber trim as well, and not just on the interior. So the hood is all carbon fiber. I know a lot of y'all are definitely familiar with this. Carbon fiber to me is always look best on the exterior of a vehicle if the vehicle is black but I've had vehicles that were dark burgundy my Acura Integra with carbon fiber hood and hatch and then I painted the car dark green so I mean carbon fiber can really flow nicely with a lot of different colors but uh, one thing's for sure the main thing with it is it's lightweight okay carbon fiber lightweight so you got that there's the front end. The grill's blacked out. I'm not exactly sure if the front grill is aftermarket or not, but, you know, I'm not seeing the Jeep logo here. Maybe the Jeep logo was originally on the hood of the uh, OEM hood, so you don't have any Jeep logos, but it looks pretty good. Um, it does have some oxidation going on on the headlights. You have uh, a pretty decent amount of pollen buildup on the headlight, and also it's starting to build up on the car. So if a vehicle sits outside during pollen season for a little too long, uh, the pollen builds up on there. So it's really important to, uh, to wash the vehicles off. You know, a great example is this Monte Carlo right here. Here's an SS Monte Carlo where the pollen has basically, you know, it's on there. Can't get it off even rubbing your fingers on it. It's been on there for years. So this one's not so bad, but there is spots on it where it's starting to happen from wherever this vehicle has sat previously before it made it to this dealership here. Anyways, the motor basically is wasted under here. We will pop the hood here in a moment and look, but the motor's gone. And uh, that's why the dealership got probably a decent deal on this thing. They're going to be putting another motor in it or fixing whatever's going on in that one, and then they'll get it on the front line. So sometimes you can find stuff like this and buy it at a more attractive price but you're gonna to to put some money into it to get it up and rolling correctly um, whoever previously owned this vehicle pretty much blacked out everything right the windows are blacked out with super dark tint that's got to be 20 percent limo tint on the uh the windows i'm surprised they didn't tint out the whole front glass but it is got window tint going to right there um, the wheels are blacked out. These are 22 inch Jeep wheels. They're five stars. They look really good. Um, you know, they're a 265 35 series tire, so super low profile. 265, that's a pretty wide tire there. And then 22, pretty big rim. Uh, brakes on it, you definitely got bigger brake upgrade here. I mean, those are four piston calipers. I'm not sure exactly if those are Brembo or not, but they definitely are four piston. So you got big brakes. I'm surprised to see that the rotors back there aren't slotted or drilled or anything like that. They're just a basic rotor, but whatever. Um, this is all blacked out, you know, right there. So, doesn't look bad. The antenna, just a tiny little thing right there. It does have a sunroof up top. Roof lines look pretty good. I mean, this is basically what you call an American muscle SUV, right? It's an SUV with a ton of muscle in it. Still got a tag on the back, but it is gonna be a vehicle that is gonna be available to purchase here at the dealership within the next few weeks or maybe the next few months. Um, you got the, the exhaust in the back. There's your two tips there, Borla, backup sensors, backup camera. So it is a 2007. But, you know, the exterior body on the vehicle in pretty good shape. I didn't see any major dents or dings. And I really didn't see too many major scratches on it. You know, it's got a few here or there, but nothing major. The paint on the vehicle, um, you know, not bad. Still got a lot of shine to it. Definitely could use a wash and a wax. Um, 
but it looks like the vehicle may have been resprayed at some point uh, you know because i can see right in here you got a little trash right in there um looks like you got a little run yep you got a run in the paint right here so i don't know if that was just resprayed or did they respray the entire jeep but there you go we will pop the hood here in a second um you got power windows power door locks boston premium sound um here's the interior inside the jeep sunroof i mean again you're seeing this is the beginning stages of seeing it i mean the dash has got to get worked on i mean it looks kind of funny like that but that's it you know it is what it is right i do not know exactly how many miles are on it there's the key to it i don't even know if that'll do anything but let's see yeah that ain't doing anything Wow. Let's see if there's anything under the hood we can see or look at. Always be careful for a wasp nest. They love making them up under these hoods. There we go. And holy mackerel, there's your motor. Demon performance. Looks like your intake system here. So obviously, you know, it's according to the mechanic, it's got a blown motor in it. 